In this video, I'm going to show you how we can solve second solution of a second order differential equation if we have one solution for that differential equation. Consider this differential equation x, y double prime plus 2y prime plus x, y equal 0. This is a second order linear differential equation. And we have one solution, one of the solutions of this differential equation. We know that the second order differential equation has two independent solutions. One of the solution is given 1 over x sine x. And we are asked to find the other solution, the second solution. For finding the second solution, if we have the first solution, always we can use this formula. The second solution equals y1, which is the given first solution, integral of e to the power of negative integral of px dx over y1 squared dx. We can use this formula for finding the second solution. This formula is derived from the method of reduction of orders. Actually, this formula is a shortcut method for the method of reduction of order. Note that in this formula, px is coefficient of y prime, but when coefficient of y double prime equals one. So, for finding p of x, here we have to first divide both sides of this by x to make coefficient of y double prime equal 1. Then the coefficient of y prime is p of x. So the first step before doing anything else is to make coefficient of y double prime equal 1. If we divide both sides of this relation by x, this x cancels. So only we have y double prime plus 2 over x y prime plus, if we divide this term by x, we get y equal 0. Now, this expression here is p of x. So based on the formula, first we want to start to calculate this part only e to the power of negative integral of p of x, negative integral of 2 over x dx. Integral of 2 over x is 2 ln of x. Because we know that integral of 1 over x is ln of x, so integral of 2 over x is 2 ln of x. We can simplify this. We can bring negative 2 to the power and write this as e to the ln of x to the negative 2. And we know that e to the power of ln of any expression equals that expression. So e to the ln x to the negative 2 is x to the negative 2. Now that we have the value of this part, let's find the second solution. y2 equals y1, which is 1 over x sine x, integral of x to the negative 2 in numerator and in denominator x sorry y1 squared the given solution squared if we square this we have 1 over x 2 sine squared x and note that x to the negative 2 in numerator is actually 1 over x2 now here, if we cancel 1 over x2 with 1 over x2, this equals, let's write this first, 1 over 1 over x sine x integral of 1 over sine squared x dx. 1 over sine squared is cosecant squared. And we know that integral of cosecant squared is negative cotangent squared, negative cotangent x. This is one of the formulas of integral. 
integral of cosecant squared is negative cotangent x. So this integral equals, let's first write this part, this integral is negative cotangent x. But we know that cotangent is cosine over sine. So we can write this as 1 over x sine x times by negative cosine x over sine x. If we cancel one sign from the bottom with one sign from the top, we have negative 1 over x cosine x. So this is the second solution for the given differential equation.